Today we create a 3D printed custom bit holder inspired by Jamie from Homemade Modern. A few days ago Jamie published a video on a 3D printed custom accessory for a Ryobi drill. This inspired a quick print for one of my cheap drills. I start by measuring the side of my battery pack where I would like to position the bit holder. In Fusion 360 I create a rectangle with the dimensions of these measurements and create a round shape on one side. This shape can then be extruded to a height of 8mm. For the bits I create a new sketch in the side view and draw a polygon. I create a pattern of this polygon so that six shapes are spread across the length of the holder. After leaving the sketch, I extrude the polygons and thereby cut a shape corresponding to the size of a bit from the main body, leaving some material at the bottom. On the bottom of the bit holders, I create a new sketch, draw a circle and create a rectangular pattern corresponding to the one I created earlier. These circles are cut out 3 mm deep for some magnets. With the same extrusion I cut material from above the magnet so that I can put it in place. After creating a few fillets the 3D shape is done. I send it to my printer and after less than 30 minutes I can remove the print from the build plate. Gluing the magnets turned out to be the most difficult part of this project. Whenever I tried to glue one of the magnets in, it snapped to one of the other magnets I already glued in one of the other holes. With a pair of pliers and a bit of patience, I could move them in position and press them in the hole. The holder gets glued to the side of my drill with a bead of hot glue. This print will be a great efficiency improvement. It is easy to remove the bits and put them back. And even with a lot of shaking and bumping, the bits do not get loose. I will put a link in the description to the free model on Thingiverse and a written article with all the dimensions. If you are interested in more woodworking related 3D printing projects, please subscribe to my channel. For a look at future projects, you can follow me on Instagram.